we just had a load of lumber dropped off from the local lumber yard. We had a bunch of beams milled up custom for us for over the doorways. I've been hand hewing a lot of the wood for over the doorways, but there's just simply too many. And also we had a lot that needed um, 20 by 20 beams, 20 centimeters by 20 centimeters beams, which are very, very large. And um, I don't have trees that big. The ones I do have are just too beautiful to cut down. And I really only wanted to cut down trees here that were already dead and dry and not any live trees. So these were cut in the valley here, milled in the valley. They are chestnut and they are beautiful. And I have a lot of work putting the final finish on them, um, getting them all shaped up properly and not a lot of time because one door is already ready for them. So if I was in the USA, getting this amount of lumber would cost a absolute fortune, especially being chestnut. But since this was uh, grown in the valley, cut in the valley and brought to us, it was shockingly reasonable, which is really exciting because chestnut is just an extremely special wood. There is a an existing chestnut beam outside this doorway that is hundreds and hundreds of years old. I have no idea how old it is. Um, it just kind of lasts forever. I fell in love a thousand times Could have been dreaming It always felt so real Till I woke up and lost all meaning You said things I want to try I said, where are you going with my heart? I still believe in us. Tell me where you going. So I should show you how strong chestnut is because the chainsaw could barely get through it. The chainsaw is smoking now. I think we overdid it a bit. <laughs> freshly cut this morning and they are <laughs> soaking wet. Um, my shirt is actually getting wet carrying it and as a result they probably weigh a hundred pounds each. Oh my goodness. Oh. <laughs> so they will be drying in place because we're going to place these above the doorway today and hopefully they'll develop some nice organic cracks and all that fun stuff. It's a little difficult working with it because the wood is so wet, the grain just tears off. Um, but in reality, this is what it would have been like hand hewing. The wood that I hand hewed um, from the mountain had been dry for probably several years because they are dead trees. They dried in place. Um, but this is what it would have been like hand hewing um, proper fresh beams. It's very different.
you. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Wow, those are big. Well, they're soaking wet. So the problem is, is that it's too early to accept oh, stain. Yeah. Um, but I did a test. This is not. Those won't ever be visible. Okay. It's just a test out of my jar of stain. So then. You don't have to decide now because we can stain them in place, but the choice is between mm -hmm. linseed oil and a chestnut, um, nochescuro, whatever that is. Mm -hmm. what that color the is. same that we've done the other yeah other things we've stained. We've used that. So this this matches stuff. the bottom floor, but these beams are going upstairs. Oh. And I just feel like it. Yeah. I'm really torn. I keep going back and forth. But I think the natural is better, but it's coming out so much lighter than I would have preferred. Yeah. Uh, so are you thinking we'll do something different downstairs than upstairs, or will it be all the same? I think the downstairs will be darker and the upstairs will be mm -hmm. lighter because the, the dark matches that mm -hmm. pre-existing beam. Under the stairs, yeah. But the lighter matches the upstairs better, depending on what we do with the ceiling. Um, yeah. And I'm really torn. Now, if we go um, linseed oil, mm -hmm. we can always decide to change it later. Yeah, but you can't but really do But if we go opposite. with this, you can't go backwards. I say let's do linseed oil um, because I think the contrast between the lighter beam and the stone will be really beautiful. And I think once they have a couple months to mm -hmm. dry or a couple years to dry, actually. <laughs> this is a long process. We know uh, that. Honestly, officially, it'll take eight years for the beams oh to dry. Oh my goodness, that's crazy. Um, but I think it'll accept the stain better. Yeah, I think let's do linseed oil and then we can always change our mind later and stain them darker, but okay. I'd rather see it up like that and, yeah. and hope that that's what, what we like. You thought we were done hopping along the beams and closing up the floor. I thought we would be also, but we ran out of wood. <laughs> we have maybe uh, 10 pieces left. We need about 25, and I'm struggling to find the same thickness and size um, as these were manufactured over probably 10 years ago. And it seems like styles have changed, so I'm still looking for it. I might have to swap out this entire room just so that all the boards match, but that doesn't matter. Right now what matters is we're opening a door, which is very exciting. It is the last door. Well, there's a couple doors that need to be raised in height, but this is the last big opening. I'm gonna start from that side. to swap out hats. This is the fun part.
Gennaro con le balle. Non è qui? No, no. We are so excited that the renovation is moving along so quickly and can't wait to get to the stage where we can start picking out furniture and decor. And I'm actually back here in our apartment right now to tell you about today's video sponsor, FlexiSpot, who has sent us the XL6 Power Lift Recliner to test out. The XL6 is a powered recliner. It can recline anywhere from a lay flat position to a lift position or anywhere in between. The chair is super comfortable, well padded, and is now the chair that everyone in our family fights over. There's just something about a powered recliner that is so much more comfortable than a regular recliner because you can use the remote to set the exact position that you want to recline to. The chair is extremely comfortable, well-built, and shockingly affordable. If I'm gonna be honest, when I first saw the price and how affordable it was, I was a little skeptical as far as the quality until I received it and got to test it out myself. The cover features water-resistant fabric that's easy to clean. There's built-in USB charging and even built-in massage in eight different locations, as well as built-in heating. That is a lot of features packed into one chair. So while the chair is very comfortable and great for everyone, it's especially good for the elderly and those with limited mobility because of the lift feature. This lift chair has a variety of additional features which you can learn about on the website. You can visit the website through the link in the description below or by scanning this QR code and you can use our exclusive coupon code RAISING50 to get $50 off and free shipping. So go ahead, visit the website and thanks to FlexiSpot for sponsoring today's video. really not that complicated. It's basically just a giant game of Jenga that you are intentionally trying to lose. this for safety. I'm never more than I'd say a meter away from the wall. 
That way, if anything falls, it can't fall on top of me because I'm too far away, but jabbing with this thing is exhausting. <laughs> It's too slippery. Too heavy. Ayudo. get a close-up shot in a minute here but wow it looks incredible a lot of work getting to this point but worth it worth every minute <laughs> that's something wow. right it's something it's beautiful oh my goodness that's pretty cool to see it come together isn't it I'm speechless. Yeah, I'm glad. I'm glad we uh, went this route. This is quite quite nice. I can't get over it. Like how it fits the house. Like it looks so good. Yeah. It looks so good. It went in pretty easy, pretty quick. <sighs> I'm like I'm just completely speechless. This design I stole from an existing beam in the house that's actually um, over the doorway that leads into the kitchen from the outside. Um, it's been there for hundreds and hundreds of years. We were told that portion of the building was built around six to 700 years ago. I don't know how old the beam is. It could be that old as well, but I loved the angles on the corners and how the edges were rounded. So I kind of studied that beam a lot and tried to hand hue them to match and it was, the right decision and it just really came together and looks excellent i just i can't get over it like as much as i've tried to picture what it would look like to have the door here like this it that just completely it it just completely exceeds all my expectations it's just it's so beautiful i'm happy i'm happy, happy, happy. It's really beautiful. very 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 good so beautiful i love it so much far too long but now i'm on my way back home i hear the west winds calling i'm my name they're telling me to head your way down your road and past your gates keep your eyes on the horizon i was looking to the Oh, 
the setting sun For you to fall into my arms The place I call my home I'm always looking to belong And I already found The Friday big push. Oh my goodness. Oh, sorry. One second. This is disgusting. <laughs> yeah, you look like you need a shower. <laughs> um, so we are finishing opening the door and then separating out all the stones. Um, any stone that's not really usable or too ugly, we take away the hall away for external walls. And then Alessio right now is shifting the stones and we're kind of spreading everything out because this wood floor is not designed to hold this much weight. So we're stacking stones up on the ledges everywhere, um, spreading them out on the floor, trying to be conscious of not caving in the beautiful floor and ceiling we just made. And then it'll be time to start rebuilding the uh, the wall. Wow. The door. You look kind of like you have a black eye from the... <laughs> I'm always a mess. Do you have a black eye? <laughs> Maybe. I've broken two shovels in two days. It's, oh been, it's been a week. Aww. Tomorrow's the weekend. Yay. all cylinders here. Batista is working on rendering the wall. He's the brick master. We've got three walls to render today. Opening up that door and some concrete work. And then Saturday. No. Oh, okay. Oh, you want to do it? Emparare. Emparare. Guarda. Wait. My face was so black. When we opened the door, we actually broke into the um, 
uh, the fireplace chimney a little bit because that chimney is, I mean, probably four feet wide. Um, so all of the soot that was caked into it got all over my face. Um, I told you, it looked like you had black eyes. <laughs> Me and uh, Batista have had a little friendly competition going on <laughs> in terms of uh, who's working the hardest. He's 67 years old, and I'm a little ashamed that he has... Uh, smoked me every single day. 